the next most important thing that you'll want to uh, get familiar with is Firefox add-ons. I highly recommend developing in Firefox um, just for convenience sake. Um, obviously you need to check in other browsers, but I tend to, when I'm doing do uh, browsing, I uh, use Chrome because it uh, is faster and has some features that I like, but when I'm developing, I use Firefox because it has add-ons. And this is the URL to an entire section of their add-on uh, website that's developed, uh, dedicated just to uh, web development add-ons. So this is their add-on website, addons.mozilla.org. And uh, I'm going to show you three add-ons real quick right now. So click over to web development and you can see the, uh, the featured add-ons and then always look at the top downloads. These are the most important ones. You'll, you'll see Firebug and Web Developer right here already. Um, I'm going to install Firebug first. So it's quite simple to add an add-on in Firefox. Install. And then restart. Nice thing about Firefox is when it does restart uh, using that dialog, it'll pull up all the windows that you had running already. Let's give it a second for it to load. And now uh, Firebug has been installed. And you can see right down here in the corner, there's this little bug. And that is Firebug. So let's go to a website, say, educator.com. And if we want to analyze some of the uh, things in this page, um, say you're, you're uh, visiting this website and you notice this little uh, curved thing up here and you want to know how the web developer did that because you want to do something similar. You can right click on it and click on inspect element if you have Firebug installed and it pulls up the Firebug dialog down here. And what this shows you immediately is the HTML DOM. Now as I hover over the different elements here it will highlight them above and it zooms in on the thing that you clicked on initially. So you can see that in this case, the web developer is using little images that he's placed in the corners of this div to accomplish that. Um, and then over here in the right side is the style that goes for whichever element you've clicked on. So if I want to modify that style, I can actually do it on the fly. Um, here's the top I can move this and you can see that it's actually moving these little tiny squares down. They're a little bit small so it's hard to see. Um, but I can do things like I can start disabling things and it, it kind of breaks stuff because I've disabled it. Um, there's other neat things I can do. There's a couple other tabs like the CSS tab lets you edit the, the whole CSS. Um, the script tab it's disabled by default to make things a little bit quicker, but it'll enable you to debug your JavaScript as you go. Uh, DOM Navigator shows you all these different elements in the DOM that are calculated um, instead of having to go through the HTML by hand. Um, and then of course you can always click on Edit and manually edit the HTML here by hand as well. Um, and then the console is another thing that, that lets you do some uh, especially for JavaScript, you can put little methods, little uh, notifications in there that'll uh, tell, it'll pause the loading of the page uh, until you're done and ready for it to be loaded. So that is Firebug. It's extremely useful for uh, navigating around pages, looking at the code, getting directly at the part that you want to see, and uh, things like that. So let's go back to uh, the add-ons page. And I'll show you uh, the web developer toolbar. Add. Just give it a second to install. 
And I'm actually going to add another one just so we don't have to restart again. Color Picker or Colorzilla. Now I'll restart Firefox. The Web Developer Toolbar is, uh, has some of the same functionality as uh, Firebug, although it's has a lot of other new things as well. So you can see this bar has been added up here. Let's go back to Educator. Now, let's say that I wanted to see what this page would look like without any CSS. I can disable styles, and now I can just see the raw HTML and the content and how that's displayed. Uh, this is a well-made website because uh, I can still navigate it with uh, the CSS disabled. I can also disable things like JavaScript and uh, images. I could disable all images if I wanted to. So there's a couple of broken images up here. And uh, another useful feature is the outline tool. So if I wanted to outline all the block level elements, now I can see kind of with my uh, just looking at, at the, the top without looking at the source, what, where a lot of these elements are, are put together and how this page is constructed. So uh, before I, I showed you how to look at this uh, corner here to see that there's like it's made of a, a little image, with the block level outliner on, I can just kind of see right away that there's a, an image, there's something going on there, and I can see what's going on. And that is that for Firefox add-ons.